The love that comes from friendship is the underlying facet of a happy life. I'm very much about letting other people shine, because it makes us all shine brighter. You either become like your parents or you become the opposite of your parents. And I like to think that I'm the opposite of my parents. Don't think about anything for too long, even if it's off the wall, go for it, you'll have a lot more fun in life. We women have to stick together. You can't fast forward heartbreak, and you can't rewind love, and that's just one big bummer. You can't have friendships that aren't based on realness. I'm not superstitious at all, I'm not a Russian. I was the youngest of six kids, and my brothers and sisters were kind of a lot older than me, and the one sister that was, like, in a close age range, she was five years older than me, she was my closest sister in age, and she was a loser. Everything isn't permanent, so don't pretend that it is. Everything's supposed to move and shift. Have you ever been sued by a midget? It's not fun. People ask me why I'm so hard on men. It's because they've gotten a really easy ride. And it's not that I think women should take over the world, but I do think it should be 50 50ths. There's times where you think, gosh, what if nobody ever wants to hear what I have to say? I thought I'd become an actress, but then I realized I eat too much. I don't have a lot of shame, that doesn't mean I can't feel bad about the way someone reacts to me or about something I read about myself online, but I don't have a lot of guilt, no, I've always been this way, I'm missing a chip. Even my Mormon sister checks my rankings on Amazon.com. That's my biggest struggle, is maintaining a personal romantic relationship, it takes a lot of effort. I'm not trying to be a role model to kids, because I don't have any children, but I do think everyone should have a free spirit. I like being able to, you know, pack up and leave the country and hop on a plane and go wherever I want and stay wherever and bring my friends with me and bring my family on vacation. That's amazing. I think nudity is funny, especially when it's inappropriate. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are ridiculous looking, especially her. They're so strange and charismatic and weird. It's pretty hard to take your eyes off them. I think comedy has to come from your authentic point of view. I don't pretend to be a great interviewer, I don't even pretend to be good at my job. I'm a devilish kind of person, but I embrace it, I don't try to fight it, it's proven very well for me. Personally, I'd have a baby just for the epidural. The next step for me is not The Tonight Show, that's a job for Jimmy Fallon, I'm way too divisive for a show like that. I try not to cheat on my boyfriends when I have them. I'm a stand-up comedian, so I need people. I've always been exactly who I am on TV, I'm not playing a role. I've always had a big personality, I was trickier as a kid, I behaved erratically instead of consistently, I would have tons of friends, and then I would have no friends. I'd be with the cool girls, then the uncool girls. I migrated from group to group because I was bored or people got bored with me, I was very intense. Jews are underdogs, not in my world, obviously, they're not. I don't think I'm a good host, I'm not a good host, I'm terrible at hosting, that's my problem. I do think about marriage, but it's not the end all goal. I think if you're gonna do something as silly and lighthearted as entertainment, then why not be interesting when you're doing it? It's a dream come true to have someone else portray me, because I've been living this life for a long time, and I'm over myself. It's a pleasure to play my sister because everything I've accused her of my whole life, I can now reenact before her eyes. I was tortured, and probably half of it was deserved, but I was bullied, so much so that there were days when I was like, I can't go to school today, I was too scared. I'm into politics, and I love watching the heavier news magazine shows. I didn't become a comedian to work this hard. I love a stupid joke, something that doesn't make any sense. The challenge is to keep it fresh. If you're talking about Britney Spears over and over, it's very hard to keep that interesting. There are times I felt insecure or not sure, I'm unsure of myself, or I get nervous, but nerves are good. I try and embrace all those things. I try and embrace the times where I'm not sure of myself or I'm like, is this going to work? Is this going to land? Every time I had a book come out, I'm like, is it going to be number one? Seeing your parents fall apart is really rough, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. There's a lot of pretty funny women out there. I love Sandra Bullock, I think everybody loves her. You look at, like, a People magazine, which used to be a really good, you know, 
nice magazine you could go to for real stories. It wasn't like a star or an US weekly and they have somebody with plastic surgery on the cover, Heidi Montag. And it's obviously what consumers want, because why else would they be doing it? It takes me a while to get my appetite going when I wake up early. I was broke from 19 to 26, borrowing money from my parents or my brothers or sisters every week to pay the bills. I encourage interoffice romance. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com